This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest and myself, Kevin Davis. We are Music Love Life. Welcome to another episode. It's a new, it's a, it feels like a new day. It's a new year. It is a new year. Mm-hmm. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's kind of late for that. That's no, okay. You could do it a whole month. You have nah, the whole month. You have no, 31 days. 31 like a, days. Like a black person's birthday. Oh my God. Yeah, I did it this year. I did the whole month. But I'm excited because today we have my, my son sitting in, Stone. Welcome. Oh. Uh, good. Thanks for having me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Stone, who we get into that. You all actually just had a debate uh, earlier. You and Be Honest got into it, so it should be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, did you know that weed is a, a black drug? Oh, my it Lord. It was started by black people. What do you mean? Weed it was, is a weed black was invented drug? by, started by black people. No one said that. Ganja? But it's good that you can conflate uh, <laughs> facts like that. It would be good to see He's what you do. Using those next words argument. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But it's good to see you guys again, viewers. Yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely missed you guys. I know we've we've had some changes. We've been missing, but we're, we're back. 2019, and, and we're back. I'm very happy to be here. I am very, very <laughs> happy to be here. Yes, 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 yes. So there's been all kinds of stuff happening. Um, I don't even know where to start. I really don't know where to start. One of the funniest things to me is that Meek Mill has uh, waged a war on lace fronts. And um, I think he's serious about it. You guys, what do you mean he's waged a war? He has basically said... <laughs> is this like when the headlines say claps back? Is that you know? well? Well, women clap he back. He clapped first. He clapped first. Women did clap back. He said that lace fronts were stupid and men did not like them. He was like, "If you don't believe me, ask your man." So I just wanted to ask you guys: What? Do, first of all, do you guys know what a lace front is? Oh, I do. do. Okay, come on, explain. Well, to it's us. a wig. It is a wig. It is a wig, and it it the way that it tricks you is because. Um, it makes it look like there's a natural hairline. Okay. All it, right. Am I close? Are you, you get, yeah, yeah. So that way, that means you can part it. You can do things yeah. that you normally couldn't do Very in good. a wig. Yeah. And it still looks natural. Yeah. Okay. See, he knows more terminology. I'm not familiar with so the So it's got the lace, the lace netting. Right. You know, looks right. like a scalp and the hair is able to, you're able to move back and forth. Now, do you know how they apply the lace front? Um, super glue? It is glue. It is not super glue, but it is glue. It's a bond. It's a hair bond. Well, the, the, there was a lady on mm. Vivica Fox show who had like, she looked like she had a Darth Vader head after wearing a lot of lace fronts and weaves. Oh, and well, stuff. yeah. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about people that have it have attached. Have you ever seen properly. Darth Vader's head? Uh, no. That's uh, how her head looked. <laughs> like, dark, like, like meat. So you guys have not seen a woman that looked like she had glue around the scalp? Maybe Absolutely. Coming up? Okay. And we see them all the time. What do you think? It's, what, it's the end thing now. What goes through your mind when see, you see See, we don't that? know all the terminology. Most guys <laughs> just know if it's, it's either yours or it's not. If it's a black woman, you can't pull it. If it's a white woman, you can't pull it. That's the rule, right? I don't... Sounds like the rule, I think. <laughs> I don't. But a lot of wigs get yanked off. So who's breaking the rules? No, you better not yank a woman's black woman's wig off. Well, I think Meek Mill accidentally did, and I think that's what traumatized him. That's what he said. It's been known to do that. He said that he he reached down to pull it, uh, and it, and it came off, and he saw what was underneath it, which are cornrows, because it allows the wig to lay flat on the head. So imagine. I don't mind a woman with cornrows. If she's preparing for the next day or something. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, like, my wife will cornrow her hair. Right. To prepare for the next day when right. she takes Twist it out. out. Right, and right, And it has, like, a different... So I don't mind that going to bed. But I don't know if I want you walking around the streets of Atlanta with me <laughs> with a cornrow, un- even if it's underneath something. I really? know women tend to say stuff like, I don't... You ain't got nothing to say about my hair unless you gonna pay for it. And all of that. It's too right? expensive. Right. Who's but paying it, for that? It's traumatized. It really is traumatizing to men when we see you one way and you come in the next another way. And what do you mean traumatizing? I remember in college, man, I had a friend of mine. He had a crush on this girl. Right. He was like, yo... Like working up the courage, like yo, right? I'm about to get her, right? Right? Oh, that that sounds great. Like guys, working yeah. on it, right? right. Getting yeah. this game together I'm about to and everything. Get her. Nothing yeah. wrong with that, man. Yeah. One day she came by and she didn't have her ponytail in. It was just that little piece sticking up like a Rottweiler tail. <laughs> Bump chicken, chicken, yo. <laughs> he literally he stood there like open mouth. Was she still cute? Lost all. Uh, 
She was cute, but it wasn't cute. I'm going to tell you something that messes me up back in the day. It was the girls who used to get those braids, right? And I, I didn't realize it was weave. I thought she had been growing it for like 40 years. I thought maybe she was <laughs> yeah. just older than she looked. Yeah, okay. But it does something to your face, kind of like a facelift. So when you take that off and you got a droopy face later, like, oh, wait a minute. Get back, go back to the braids. Have you, you ever seen the that? Braids was, was it the it makes them so look tight, cute. Dude. It makes it pulls it pulls their face to cute. Made it look Asian. <laughs> something. <laughs> that is so I'm blown. That is that is ridiculous. But then they take those braids out of his droopy face. You know, that's like, oh. the African braids because they be braiding tight as shit. They that's who braided my hair that time put the weave in it, the African. I thought that's why I thought they could make it happen because they got those fingers. I don't know what it is about African fingers. They're much better what, than... What do you mean? Those are the first people fingers. They, okay. They okay. created the nation. They can do anything. Uh, we, technically, what? everybody would have to be of the first people, though, so everybody should have those fingers. I mean, come on, use logic. Don't, don't bullshit me now if you're going to really go there. <laughs> hey, hey, man, I'm just saying, everybody didn't get the genotype. Everyone yeah. knows Africans have very good dexterity in their fingertips. Their fingers are... They <laughs> the can men, do, too? Some traits skip. I don't know. I can't breathe. The men... Men too, no probably. Interest. No, I don't think so. Have you ever seen an African squat down where his butt almost touches the ground okay. and he's weaving a basket? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. That. I'm done. You guys going to start crazy? this 2019 off this way. <laughs> You've never seen an African that. make a fucking hey. thatch, hey, Kevin. Uh, thatch basket. Kevin. Yeah, everybody in the city knows if you want to get braided, you go to an African I, braiding I, I have, but I tell you what. I, and you the last, Google African braiding. You sure the last time I got my hair braided at an African braiding shop, <laughs> it was pretty, right? I had twists. I went to LA and I was I was in the mirror looking at them. Vacation and braids. And two of them, two of the whole braids popped off in my hand oh. at the scalp. So I was like, ah, ah, I gotta get these out because I was like at the bulb, like to the bulb, the hair, the but it it came out like the, like like there was too much stress and my hair was like I'm I'm out like it just it just came out so. I took the braids out immediately. I spent like twelve hours getting them done. I went the next day and had them taken out. I can't lose. I can't lose edges. I can't lose my edges. I won't did, do did, it. Did it hurt or you didn't even feel it? Cause it was so tight. I don't. I didn't really feel it. It was so tight. Probably. <laughs> it was bad. Wow. I took them out. I never heard of that. That's crazy. No, but and I, I had lots edge? of girls. It, I mean, it was around the edge. The edges are th- the edges are more thin and more susceptible to damage. Shit. And then you have all these guys walking around talking about girls' edges. I wasn't going to be one of those girls with no edges. And, and see, part of a whole... Because you had to return your hairstyle. Like, that's... Right. I, I didn't know I, that you could return the hairdo. You can't get a refund. What do you mean you return you get a it? Refund? You, went, you said you went right back to the salon and had to take, take it out. out. You, that, you that, returned that, it. I, well, I mean, I had to pay to have it taken out. Oh, shit. So you paid to get it. That's like... Yo, that's tax. That's gangster like $65 shit, $65 to get it taken out. Shit, how much did it cost to put in? hundred hundred twenty. See, this is, what's, this is what's wrong with y'all. This is what's wrong with y'all. Y'all spend way too much money on this. Whoa, wait. So Get a your closer. thing is that your thing is that women have to look a certain way, but and it's traumatizing when they don't look that way. Like if you remove the wig, there's a problem. No, 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 no. Spending, suddenly, but especially when they're spending suddenly. the money to do this, there's also a problem. No quick movement. Thank you. Though. No quick Thank movement. You. That's all. If you gonna come out the wig, you need to let motherfuckers Amen. know. <laughs> We we'll just get to know you, man. You need it's a new waiver? year. Send you need me a, a text. Waiver? Yeah, send me a text. No, no, no one's doing that. But I do know that some. I mean, it just depends. There's all types of different guys now. Like years ago, there were a lot of guys that really weren't into weave. Now, black men have kind of assimilated. They don't have a choice. They're cool with it. So we just kept doing it. So now, a lot of guys don't care. Until they pull Stone, when's the last time you pulled somebody's wig off? I've never done that. Oh, okay. Stone doesn't date black girls. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> That's cool though. Hey man, you don't have to date black girls. In 2019? Hey, do you think, man? What, what what I don't understand which side you're on when you said that. The 2019, I wasn't sure if you were In saying your whole tip your whole tip card has been revoked. Your whole tip card has been revoked, though. Hey man, no, 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 no. My man card first. I never tell another man not to get some. But questions. I always ask and I asked Stone this. Like, how do whole tips Often date outside their race. Like okay. it's, it's, it's the let biggest. Me, co- let me debunk a lot of what just have been said because you're putting this on my page. Um, <laughs> one, just because I date people of any race doesn't mean I don't date black women. Okay. Two, um, that like I don't understand this argument that's like, oh, if you like, you know, want to uplift your people, that you have to, you know, be dating them at all times. Like that's that's. But isn't it get a little bit contradictory? You must stand for you to say, okay, well, the police are putting all black people in jail. By the way, 
I'm not dating black people. I'm dating white. Like it's just, it feels it feels very like contradictory, don't you yeah. think? I'm not gonna put you on the spot, but who do you prefer, black girls or white girls? I don't have a preference, but like I who will you- say that if I will say that if I was going to get married, it'd be to probably to a black. Why? Woman, but uh, first that, mistake. There's no, there's no. Wow, first mistake. Yeah, explain you, that. You know, explain other way that. around. Like if you you just mess around with the black girl, you're gonna get married. You want somebody with lineage, somebody whose family can help. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you, you mixed. That's why you marry a, you marry, about that. you marry a white person. <laughs> that's the other half. Her dad got credit. Her mom got credit. You know what I'm saying? All her brothers and sisters probably got credit. The babe. Beige Bianca speaks speaks and interjects, and and we have to just discount him because he you is going a to that fancy school to <laughs> and spend all that money to marry somebody that's going to pull you down. First let me all. ask you this: Who would you rather pull the hair of during sexual intercourse? Oh my a God. white girl or a black okay, girl? Okay, first of all, we we don't even we we're, we're not even saying that he's doing that. We're not saying we're not going to say it, but I'm certain I, I'm he's not, not saying it. Okay. I'm gonna skip around this foolishness, but I'm gonna come to a point. <laughs> okay. Th- this assumption that <laughs> black women. Uh, pull black like the, the, explain that more like okay so really you, elaborate you on that. D- what's your credit score right now <laughs> I have no idea <laughs> you don't know what to, see the first problem I guarantee you <laughs> I guarantee you somebody knows your credit score and they're just waiting on you to to save them and once you save them it's gonna yank your shit down ooh boom 20, 20 to fifty points day one <laughs> woo, woo. twenty to fifty points day one now it don't go don't go lease nothing don't go find it because that's what they want you to do right on the other hand though. You get with a white girl, she's automatically going to set you up because her family's already taught her this stuff. You see what I'm saying? You like so I'm saying, your mom is black, you don't know your credit score. No, but but he but so no, this is, no, 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 no. How but about he has, he's talking about generational wealth? That's what I'm talking about. That's tr- uh, that's true. How but about I will that? say but I will say if we're going to talk about economic mobility, it's more likely for a uh, black man to pull a black woman down. Um, Thank most, you. No, Hello. Like, if we're looking at recent statistics, there's been if we're looking at the economic mobility of black men, it's been <sighs> substantially below that of black women. And if we're also looking at like college graduates, black women are actually at the forefront. Stand Thank by, you. stand by, sir. Do you still <laughs> do you still hold up this man car for this? Traitor, this turncoat. <laughs> what that got to do with it? Because I'm you. saying that's what he's Thank talking you. about, man. He is a proponent hey, hey, of black I'm, girl magic. I am black a proponent girl of magic. facts. Black girl I am magic. I a proponent of facts. No matter how they are skewed. No fake news, facts. No matter how they're skewed. Black, black girl hey, magic. Hey, man, unfortunate truths, <laughs> right? Right. Hey, so, there, there are definitely some things that have to be ironed out. It's, 2020, it's 2019, excuse me. We have to deal with some right. shit if we're going to make it Well, somewhere. then he said, you know what? That's good that you pointed it out because he tried to say that a black woman bring you down. But, but statistically, Stone has proven, be honest, that a black woman will increase and upgrade you. Wonderful. Yes. I'm asking about you specific. You always, Stone, you have mm-hmm. all night, what you've been doing is talking in general. Like, all these blanket statements. Hold on. <laughs> Statistics. What are you yeah, like? but but what I'm saying is you. I'm talking about just you. Just me. You date a black girl, your credit score is going like that. You. It's not true. It's not true at all. You, you don't even know your true. credit score, Stone. She has not prepared you for this world. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. True. That's nah, what I'm saying. But like, let's look at all the things my mom has prepared. I'm, no, that's not what we're talking about. Again, no, summa cum laude in college. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Uh, let's hear it. Graduating Come on with early, it. left high school early. Right. So if we're talking about all the things that my uh, black woman has done for me, it's severely No, not black. See, I, you keep doing that general. Not black bl- women. Her. My, yeah, specifically my mom right. has done her. It severely outweighs what she has not done for me. Right. Before. Okay. I'm just talking about credit score. Why can't we stop the there? Table. No, because that's that you 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 want to paint an ugly picture. I'm not painting a picture. You want to paint a biased, <laughs> ugly picture. But the truth is, that's not what this is. He just told you the cool. facts. I He's get it. Prepared. I get it. You brainwashed him, listeners. <laughs> do not look over the idea that you can put yourself as in, into generational wealth, and then you can come back and give the community some of that that good credit that you got. From Becky and her family. There's nothing wrong with that. But How let's just be. Does that work out but, with the black elite coming back to help? So you can be the first that one. Didn't happen. Be the first one. Somebody got to do it. Change. What were you about to say, Hotel? I mean, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've enjoyed your break. He has. He I've been has building up He's this. Gotten, shit. I know yeah. it's just bursting. He's just bursting at his yellow seams. <laughs> <laughs> He's yes, bursting sir. at the biracial mm. seams. Man, okay, it so just, it's the man working to separate us once again. Absolutely, and he mm-hmm. and within within beyond his own body, <laughs> I'm having a fight internal. With, fight. You're having an internal mm-hmm. fight of, of the of the man trying to separate you from your uh, from your African roots. No, yes, Kevin told us we all have it African is roots. it is like like uh, the original Nutty Professor when Sherman <laughs> Clump and Buddy Love was fighting. You could just see it. Yeah, it was like going back and forth. Class. Like, no, I'm not. Gonna, yeah, you can't a- beat me. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I see it. That's what's happening right now. 
Yeah. Okay. That's all you got? That's it? <laughs> I'm killing y'all on, on no, jokes then. If, that, if, that's what, if that's all you guys have, I'm killing you on jokes. You're not kidding. What? Where have you been? I haven't called him the Beijingator in a few <laughs> weeks. So that's what's going on. That wasn't a good one then. Mm. That's not a good one now. <laughs> it's okay, though. What else? Do we have anything else to talk about? Because obviously... Well, there's, there's a lot to talk about. Obviously, uh, this is not going to go well for you there's guys. There's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about, you guys. Um, are you, well, first, are you guys... We're here in Atlanta, and I think the next few weeks, we are, we are the first week of January. We have Super Bowl <sighs> to look forward to. Are you guys looking forward to it? Nope. Why? Because if the Saints come here as in, oh, it's going to be a Super problem. Bowl, I'm leaving. Atlanta. We're going to have to leave. Yeah, we're yeah. going to have to leave. We're going to have to leave. Shout outs to AJ. It's too close. He's going to come. He's. I mean, he's going to be a, 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 AJ Joiner. I'm pulling for I anybody can't. not New Orleans. <laughs> anybody but the Saints. I do not want them here. Sorry, guys. I don't want y'all here. Y'all are a mess. They came here before after the hurricane, <laughs> <laughs> and that didn't turn out so well for us. Right? Crime rate went up. You gonna get your ass dealt with, <laughs> New Orleans boy. She's cranking that. Be honest, right? <laughs> that was inflammatory. I, don't fucking... I was hey, just man. kidding. I was just kidding. No, I was. Right. I was just kidding. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that, guys. No, seriously. Are y'all so so nobody so <laughs> nobody's excited about the Super Bowl? Because th- here's the thing, right? There's going to be so much traffic here already. It is. Atlanta's already a stupid place when it comes to traffic. It so is. that whole that whole from Thursday to Tuesday is going to be, be a problem. And then if they they also are Saints fans too, it's like traffic I just, and I the home. Saints. Well, mm. I'm going to stay home unless I get a chance. To, hopefully, I'll get to leave. If I'm not, I'll stay home and never go out. So <laughs> I'm not into. It. I'm maybe I'm too old for all those the events and stuff like the the NFL experience. Your testosterone levels have dropped. No, nah, it's just That's that, true. that stuff's not fun. <laughs> Football's not fun. No, the NFL experience. That you know what that is. It's like yeah, the, the three three day thing where they you know you yeah, do like the gonna, I mean, it's gonna be Jermaine Dupri is is is, is oh you don't mm, like fun Jermaine anything Jermaine Dupri does I want to do like <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh really <laughs> now <laughs> I'm coming case. out <laughs> well what do you guys think are about are you boycotting the, hmm? anyone uh, actually, did, did we forget about the boycotting NFL? the NFL no, no I'm not boycotting. I know they're bringing trillions of dollars to the city and all that <laughs> shit, but you know. You guys, are, are, have you? Did you guys boycott at school? Hmm? You have to speak. Have to speak. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah nobody uh, yeah, nobody heard boycott. you. Uh, me and the BSU had a whole like uh, statement that we're boycotting, and then all the white liberals followed because that's what they do. Is that the Black Student Union? Yeah, yeah. Are you the president? Yep. No, oh, okay. Congratulations. Thank you. That was just a shot in the dark, but you said BCU. So I mean, BSU so proud. I was like, <laughs> this guy's campaign. All the white schools have a. Black student they do. gathering unit. They do. They, we ours ours we have to. A, a black ours department. Was, yeah, ours was called Know Thyself. Oh, he's he's he has HBCU condescending uh, tones in there. You know, I actually no. I attended a white school and then I transferred to an HBCU. Okay. Couldn't afford a white so school. I, I did the PWI. <laughs> and... I hate you. What? Why it's is it this way in 2019? What you did not have? <laughs> it, did you have any resolutions or anything to be a better person? I am a great person. That's not okay. Which I thought we were talking facts. Better person. I thought we were talking facts here. I'm sorry. Let me pull back on some of the facts. Your HBCU you, was probably... You, that was not a fact for you to say what you couldn't afford the white school. That, that's not a fact. He ran out of money. That, no, that's he, what that's he, does. he said that. He said that when I said I was getting some tires, he was like, oh, you went to a... African. A legitimate <laughs> tire salesman. $20 tire. You know how you know, Didn't you, though? You, know, you, you know said how, you did, though. You know how uppity niggas always try to... <laughs> you said you did, though. Those aren't... Louis Vuitton. <laughs> you, you're not wearing you the finest brands. First you of must all, have went to South right. Cab. You didn't go to Phipps. First like, of all, you should always buy at, full le- of classism. At, at least two tires. At least. And I know that if you went to the Africans, they didn't match. Oh, my God. Okay. I, I can't. Africans are really taking a lot of heat this... Uh... Uh, it, it, uh, yeah. well, it's even hot in Africa. Was on they Mexicans. used to it. He also he thought Black Mexicans. Panther wasn't all that. It's the white half. He's the Oscars. Y'all it just, is. Y'all it work is. for everybody black. It's annoying. Go ahead. He he is just and you for nobody black. You're just like this half of me is so much you better. Can't like. beat me. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get it's that. It's a meme. struggle, man. We gotta you, get you that. You gotta meme. love your whole self. No, I do. Sides. I do. I love myself. It's both. called no. Our our BSU at o, the University of Oklahoma was called Know Thyself. It was a lot less of you guys, even though <laughs> it's probably a bigger school. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now we gotta talk about this this huge. Elephant, this huge elephant in the room. First of all, <laughs> the R. Kelly documentary on surviving R. Kelly on Lifetime. Big mistake put on Lifetime. Did you 
<laughs> you know, it isn't because people watched. People tuned in. It's the best thing that Lifetime has done. Ever done. And Except... they The Aaliyah story wasn't this good. <laughs> the Aaliyah Lifetime. story was horrible. They, they, they did a, a major mouth, you know, it was a snafu with Correct. that. Correct. But... Um, are you guys, well, there was a lot of posts and memes and Facebook discussions about music. Have you deleted R. Kelly from your music library? No. However, I didn't even realize it, but maybe a few months ago, I just started skipping him. And I, it wasn't even intentional. It, okay. wasn't, it wasn't even intentional. I just realized that I've been skipping his songs. I like When it comes on, I skip many songs, but right. I've, always, I've been skipping his every time too. So you're going to leave him in there, just skip him? Um, well, I mean, it's way too much work to go in and, and uncheck every single R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it? Yeah, because I got Apple Music. How many do you music. have? R. Kelly's got a lot of hits. Uh, that whole man. that double disc was 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 pretty good. He got a hell. This is like from the '90s to now. I mean, I think that and you could do a search. You could it. do a search and just de- and delete all. Mm. I think you could do a search. She mm. feel on me. I mean, I'm, mm. no, I want. Uh, I, I think it's worth I think it's worth the act of like hearing the beginning of the song and then like walking over and making the conscious. So you really want him to get the stream. You want him to get the download. You want him to, to receive no, the no, funds. No, no, I want to physically. But does turn but, it off. but does is there a certain amount of time before he gets paid for that download? Well, he only gets like how, what percentage of that? The but still, we label. don't want to give it to him. Mm. Uh, why don't we want to give it to him? We don't want to support. Do you even we don't feel want to like he was wrong? Because Do you of feel like what he was done. wrong? Do I feel like he was wrong? Um, I think he's troubled. Do I think he was wrong? I don't know. What did the police say? That's the, that's that's. Well, scary. actually, we, the results of the investigation that just started have right? opened up a whole new police, a whole new, a whole new. Uh, right. Which, which you know what? That actually tells me something. Cops are lazy as hell because <laughs> they was watching Lifetime right. like I was. <laughs> <laughs> now they decided we better open that case That's up. Some bullshit, he really man. was holding girls hostage in that house in uh, Alpharetta. Yes, and he wouldn't let the girls use the bathroom except in a bucket. Where do they Where do they live prior to that house, though? I don't know. And I've heard they, this, where this where's their home? Are you about to argue that he was a shelter? They lived in the slums. That's what they did. They lived in the slums, and R. Kelly has bettered their entire lifestyle. I mean, just getting food sometimes. Now they shit in the finest buckets. Here's my thing, right? And okay, we're not playing about this. This is a really serious thing. This though. has been said, but where the hell, if these grown ass women are sitting in a house, where the hell are their families or their friends or anybody? You, you didn't see the documentary. No, they were trying not, to get to them. They were, they trying, were trying to, to get to them. Yeah, they didn't know uh, where they yeah, were. What, what yeah, the one girl's you? mom was in the lobby. Yeah. What would stop y'all from getting to your daughter? I mean, the one girl's mom did get to her daughter. She she did get to her daughter. But we know that, I mean, just because you don't have a good parent does not mean you deserve to be taken advantage of. No, no, and no, not no, everybody's parents are, you know, fighting parents. I am a fighting parent, but not everybody's mom is. So, I mean, I would kill somebody now if they if they were in their 30s or 40s and dealt with my daughter. And she's well past, you know, the age of consent. And I technically probably wouldn't have a right to, but I still would. And these women were hostages, meaning they could not leave. They could not. Well, he would take their phones from them sometimes. That's they could kidnapping. Not talk. That's like what, yeah. Uh, what, that's what, that's my but, point. But it's, I mean, he's not. He's not in jail, so I don't know that. Until there is some proof, well, other just than like just, with it, but just like with the girl, with the fourteen-year-old girl that received the urine treatment. Um, allegedly, she, she was fourteen. Allegedly, no, not allegedly. allegedly. The tapes. The tape shows it. A tape. So you're telling me there was visual proof. No, Sparkle said that's my niece. There's but vi- she. But my point is because the the victim did not did not um, show, up, show up in court. Show up in court. So the police, even though she's 14, they didn't start a a, a, a state case. You're telling me they just hey, it's no big deal. The police decided they to turn their back on. They him. couldn't. They couldn't prove that it was him. Why not? It's visual. You I don't t- know why. You said it's him. You know it's you him. Know what? I know it's and him. You know, How do you, you know, know it's him? What? If the no, I'm gonna tell you. It's like they were saying, Kel. It, it, it. I thought R. Kelly was just peeing on girls. I did. Yeah. I thought he was just peeing on that young was his, girls. That was his fetish, right? That was that was the joke, right? Right. But right. he was peeing on kids. I didn't realize that he was locking women up. That Allegedly. he was beating them. Allegedly. And that he was star- uh, starving them. Allegedly. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. Why is it, oh, like, just... Fair enough. No, no, no. Fair enough. Like I'm going to give you the allegedly. <laughs> However... Well, we didn't know. Nobody I'm knew. I'm going to give you Nobody the allegedly. Nobody was doing that until that came However, out. However, over... 
20 years. Mm-hmm. That many girls saying the same shit? No, come on now. Hey, man, that are many people lying? ain't lying. Are they lying? I don't know. I'm not saying that R. Kelly's a good dude. I'm not saying that he didn't do it. All I'm saying is it's still a legend. He, it's not. It's still alleged. I'm saying it's not proven. <clears throat> you, everybody's shaking their head, but none of you were there. None of you have actually seen. You just listen to what somebody else is saying. Right. I'm all and, and I, so many people are saying it. And even Trump's collusion, I think that it's alleged. But do you believe it? No, I don't know. You don't, I don't. I don't believe just, it one way or other. Now people are saying this stuff. Yeah, pretty much. People. People with agendas say some really dirty shit. Mm. What agenda would there be for who? For which one? R. Kelly. I mean, what what agenda would would all these different women that have come forward? He's most likely guilty as fuck. However, it's still alleged. He's most likely guilty. So it's alleged if someone says they did something. If I came in here and I told you guys this person raped me, would you guys be like, "Oh well, I don't know. It's Chris's yes. word against his." Yes. Well, then that's a problem. No, it's not. No, if you just absolutely if you not. just believe no, the if woman. My daughter, if my daughter came to me and told me that this man touched me, it's not alleged. It's a uh, problem. Sorry, brother. Yes, it is a ledge. It's not a ledge. It's You're a problem. Crazy. No, I'm no, not. No, there was a there, there, there was, was a, a man that just the man just went to jail I because some guy touched his daughter. He shot the man in his house. Good the for videos him. Videos on the internet. Good right. for him. All I'm saying is though, because I'm not waiting for the police. I'm not. That's doing fine. None of that. That's a personal thing. What I'm talking about is is what I'm talking about is just right and wrong. If some woman comes to you and says that she got raped, it is not your responsibility to then go hurt somebody off of her word. That's, actually, that's kind of stupid. What? First of all, it's not some woman. It's someone who's your friend or someone you care about. That's so not you're some telling woman. Me women don't I lie deal to with their that friends. In court. But why would I? Why would you I deal with that in court? That's cool. I deal with that in court. What motive would a woman have? Do you know how humiliating there are lots it is of motives to, to come forward and how, say how humiliating? When have you ever come forward and said My you got daughter? raped? Hold on. How? When's the last nah. time you came forward and said you got raped? That's not first of all, no black man would ever do that. What if? It, would you, would you if you have ever like violated sexually by another by a man by whoever? Uh-huh. Would you ever come forward and say that? That's Mike, the point. Mike Tyson did. He's right, but it was after. It was years after. B did. It was it was years after it happened, and 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 they were at a point. Their life where they had reached rock bottom. There are a lot of that's part of the problem, and actually, that's good that you brought it up because R. Kelly actually was molested as a child, and no one talked about Allegedly. it. When why is everybody just saying all these facts? These are not facts. These are just opinions at this point. They're not opinions. If someone says that they were molested by a family member, that's it's not allegedly an they just and said, so, and that's the insulting part to the victims, and that's why they don't come forward exactly. because no one believes them. Because even insulting when they tell to me. you this happened to me with conviction, that you still turn around and say allegedly. Yes, because that's what we do. Well, if that's Why? the case, you can never prove it, and people can just that's rape away. Rape away. No, I'm not saying that he's not most likely guilty. What I'm saying is, though, is there is only hearsay at this point. There needs to be some fact gathering. But what if there's not, what if you're not able to gather facts? What if, the, because things are- That's empty. what we have agreed to, that's what we've agreed to as our justice system, that there have to be facts. Well, you know what, so, I don't like your justice system But people because- get locked up all the time and they don't have no facts. Hell, they didn't have any evidence on Bill Cosby. I don't think he should have went to prison. All they had was testimony. I don't that's think he should have went to prison. That's true. So as it was allegedly- Yes. Just you know what I'm I, viewers moving on. I'm not gonna do this with you. Okay. I'm not going back and forth with you in 2019 about this kind of thing because this is a this affects women's lives. If if you if you all it affects if you guys' saw lives the, too. It we it is. But I'm talking about I'm talking about this. So you situation. turn the music off of someone who's alleged who hasn't been. You you're you're willing to what I to turn you. it off. What I tell you emotionally. I feel like he's most likely guilty of all the things they're saying he is guilty most of. Most likely? Yes, most likely. But I, I wasn't there. Don't that there. take too much work? Why don't you say he is? Because I wasn't there. Because he doesn't want to. I don't know any of the he's women. Being an ass. I don't know our, I'm not being an ass. You I'm being, being fair. Because, no, it's I'm not. If fair. your daughter came and told you that someone touched you, you're not going to be like, that's so well, much daughter, restraint. that's alleged. That's a lot of restraint. Okay, so here's the difference, right? If my daughter came to me and said someone touched her, I would make a personal decision to do something. That's not about law anymore. That's not about right and wrong. That's not about fair. That's a personal thing about me and my family. That's not the same thing as you caring about somebody who has nothing to do with you. You're going to automatically... Some, you've never met caring this woman before. You've to never do with met you. this woman before, but you're going to believe her testimony? I don't even know her. I'm going to have to leave it up to the people... But if that's the case, there's no way for you to do that because in some situations, like I know a situation where a girl was... A 17-year-old girl was raped. And her mother decided she did not want her daughter dragged through the court of public opinion. Right. And they decided not to press charges on the guy. Right. The state could not continue with the charges without the cooperation of the girl. Okay. The rape kit did prove that she was raped, but her mother would not give consent. 
I don't believe that. that. You're telling me a rape kit proved the guy was guilty and they the, the state didn't press charges? I don't believe that. The, the state didn't have access to the charges because the mother asked the so physician. So then how do you know the rape kit was proved it was him? Because see, I know. You no, see how it's falling no, apart? No, I can't. I mean, I don't want to incriminate anybody that, that, that I got the information I shouldn't have had it. This is someone that you know. Yes. And who did the test? A doctor. A doctor, and, and they have his DNA. They knew it was him. You see what I'm saying? Like, how how did they know that it was him and the rape kids? They didn't go to court, and they didn't go to trial and have to prove that. You see what well, I'm saying? The and doctor the, don't have his DNA. He don't even know who this guy is. They have to give a, the guy would have to give a to go to court to send some tubes to a lab? Yeah, but the guy would have to give his DNA The point exclusively. is, she, was, she explicitly, had been, she had been raped by somebody. Allegedly. No, the rape kid says she had been raped. What? Okay, the rape kid says she had been raped, right? Yes. Okay, so if they have a rape kid saying she, do you think the doctor? Is a pregnancy test hearsay? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> you think that a doctor can walk away from that rape kid? That, that, the doctor did. I know the doctor. And the doctor, the doctor did. That's, that's how. That's I, not a, a, a oath. That doctors have to take. If you tell a psychiatrist you're about to murder, that's not the point. That kind of is a doctor oath. It yeah, is, but I'm saying she that's did a medical it. Medical school thing. Did you have to walk away? Walk if the away. Pa- if the pa- if, no the patient has there's HIPAA laws, HIPAA laws that yeah. say that they cannot disclose your information if you don't sign off on it. Mm, I don't know if that's always true. Well, in this situation, it was. If, if a teacher, it. if if you go to a teacher and tell your teacher you got abused at home, the, the teacher s- has to say something. Like you can't just let when there's a crime. Well, the doctor was the doctor was conflicted because the mother was said, "I don't want my daughter." It was a famous person, mm-hmm. and the mother did not want the daughter to be. Embarrassed. Okay. Rape is not something that no one wants to come out and acknowledge they were raped. Like that's not something that people will enjoy I agree. doing. I agree. So, and, I, and I don't think that necessarily these women are wrong. All I'm saying is that I'm not gonna say this definitely happened and this is this and this is that without their going through the process because otherwise, what the hell is the process for? Why even have a process? I mean, we obviously if have everybody that has we all have these very facts. messed up processes in in the United States. There are, but that's still our process. It's, our family is fucked up But it's our family Like Who, who so hasn't said that before We don't fix our family We just accept that they no, fucked up No we, we, we fix do. our family But we're still our family At the end of the day We've accepted that That's the, the laws we go by Right So why are we gonna jump now And everybody with a fucking opinion Is talking about facts You don't know that these things happen I, you know, I'm still confused On how the videotape From however many years ago Is in fact But see I'm right. confused but see, too. here's the thing Why is he in jail Especially as a parent Hearing about it is enough was all up on his music Hearing like, about <laughs> it is enough If I know that you well, have that, that type of history If I know that you have that type of history I'm not going to leave my child alone with you Right Hearing is enough So right. if hearsay is all you got right. And it's allegedly That's cool I still right. get to make a decision based off of that And that's not fine. fuck with what's going on over there right. It's okay but that's I, not I the same just, thing I think it's unfortunate We're going to move on from this thing But I, I do think that I raised a point earlier I was talking with one of the guys at um, Rolling Out And we are talking about the definition of pedophilia And he said that he feels like a lot of men Look at pedophilia as an act against a person that looks like a child, not about age. He said, because if a 15-year-old is built like a woman, most men are going to look at her and lust after her body. He said, we're just looking at a developed body. We're not looking at the mentality behind that. And also, a woman can be 23 years old, legally of age, and still be very immature. And that could be, I mean, she could have the brain of a 15-year-old. That the just, body you know, of a 15-year-old. Could, could. But that, so, so he said that, that a lot of times men are looking at it as R. Kelly is maybe an old, he said it makes you an old, dirty old man, but I don't think it makes you a pedophile unless no. you're targeting people. So I just, I thought that was interesting that that was a, a perspective a lot of other men in the office agreed with. I'm going to agree with him. I see you, you said it differently. But before. you know what? Mm-hmm. I think that's kind of cowardly too. Like, I think it, so. Yeah, because oh. acknowledging that this 15 year old girl is built like a grown woman might be one thing. Right. Right. But it but, stops there. But to pursue and engage right. is a different one. Right. Right. right, right, right. A man knows, hey, I can't cross that line. He wasn't saying I that, can't. though, right? He was saying, still, he was saying that men have a have empathy for R. Kelly because they they know, like, I would probably have done the same thing. No, that's no. what he was. No, saying. no, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. I, okay, that's apology shit. Because you're that's, still like, nah. regardless, of I jump the body back off shape, the bus. That person does not have the capacity to think like. Um, someone who's like 21 plus And that's what he was not He said it was not It was not a mental argument at exactly. all it was But a, that, at that point It doesn't matter Like once they can see That they're not thinking About that person's mental state They're admitting That they're being They're they're, predi- yeah. um, they're being a predator Is it like a lie of omission mm. I acknowledge But I'm going to ignore it And no, in fact what, I'm I mean, going for, to exploit them, it The 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 the, the as, as be honest would say hearsay Which I'm being Extremely 
I'm, I'm, I'm saying that just to, <laughs> just to humor him, but it's not funny. But his teacher, he had a teacher that said that he was coming to the high school specifically to find girls. So at that point, you know that they're in high school. Even though they may, some of them may have been Chicagoans built. Chicagoans have known this for decades. They have, they yeah. have. And I literally, industry people have known this for decades. And everybody turns a blind eye. So I was just so, so surprised to see people outraged. And a lot of people were like, wow, for John Legend to be the only artist that would come forward and say this is wrong... We, it's not mm, even just R. John Kelly. Legend. It's, it's a problem with the culture. That it's a cultural a, problem. What do you have to say about John Legend? He's he's just one of those dudes. Like his his thing now is to just he he is caping for anything that's on that what else side. Has he I'm not mad at his cap. Though. Everything. I'm not. I, I agree not with you his what? capping because he's not related to the situation. Right. Like he kind of. I, I could see if he had more. Him and his wife are R. Doing, Kelly or but something him and his like wife that. Are all over the board. There, but he didn't. He doesn't oh, have that what, history. What? I mean, they're speaking. They're being I'm honest. I'm not mad they're at not, cap. I don't think there's nothing wrong with capping for somebody, especially yeah, cool, when it's but, right. But with those two, him and the the lady, I can't remember her name. Teagues. What's his, what's his wife's name? Chrissy. Chrissy. What Chris Teagan. Your... What's her name? Yeah. Yes. They're both like doing. They're like trying to find anything to to stand That's with. That's not true. Yeah, they just just answer questions honestly. I'm sorry. Here's the thing about what your friend said though. I was with you with the idea of guys, adult men, can see a girl who's 15 but looks like a woman and think, okay, she has a nice body. But most men, I think, would be immediately would recognize something juvenile about her and automatically would just turn off on them. Well, that's a problem, and I'm telling you why. I made a Facebook post, and I got quite a few shares and a lot of comments on it, and I said, I don't know any woman. If you guys ask any woman, including myself— I remember being hit on by grown men from the time I was 13. From the time I was 13, coaches, high school coaches would hit on us. There were high school coaches that were sleeping with girls. So I, I, I really want to believe that it's most men, and I do, but there are too many men, and our culture turns a blind eye too often to adult men that are, that are preying on teenage girls, preteen and teenage girls. And every woman I know has been on the other side of that, you know, including myself. I, I was dating a 26-year-old at 16. That's not normal. I, had, I remember going, a coach, one of our football coaches took me home because he lived near us and he would stare at my legs in the car. And I remember feeling uncomfortable, but not realizing that that was that was really wrong, you know, like in a total different way, like he was doing something that I should have reported him for. I just felt like that's what men do. Men would sit in the bleachers and watch our skirts when we cheered go up. Like that's a normal thing for women that women have to deal with. It's not normal, but I think it's a cultural norm that we've gotten used to. And as young women, I remember my mother, different women would tell me, you have to be careful because if you wear certain things, not boys your age is not who we're afraid of. I'm afraid of a grown man seeing you walking home and trying to, you know, pick you up or talk to you. And that happens all that. There is no shortage of men uh, interacting and having relationships off the board with young women. Well, we're only 50 years removed from young girls getting married in their mid to early teens. My grandmother got married. She was 13. Right. So I think that... How old was your grandfather? I don't remember, but he was he was older than 13. Right. He was a, He's an adult. So I think that... That's kind of the way it's, it's been done. I mean, honestly, even Elijah Muhammad said a woman should be go. half a man age plus seven. Mm-hmm. My, my point is, though, I don't necessarily think that we should just throw out everybody who's, who's old and... and has Only that young women no not sleeping having that having that image make, make something happen you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. because we are we are still pretty close to the time when that was considered okay but you know what parents would also, offer their 13 year old up do we also promote that when we say things like girls are more mature we do she needs an older guy. Like when I was when I was in high school, the girls that were my age wouldn't come near me. No, nope. they wanted to. They want if I was a freshman, they wanted a senior. Yeah. they wanted somebody that already had a car and had some money. And boys or or the 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 boys from our neighborhood aren't cool enough. They have to be the boys from across town, right at the other school, right? That kind of thing. So women have always not seen themselves on the level. Of, she dated somebody. 10 years older when she right. was 16. Right. Like like a lot of young girls have even lied to their parents about their boyfriend's age. Right. Like did. Did, your, did, did your mom know that he Heck was 20? no. And that's what somebody else said. My mom, they were like, well, I blame the parents. My mom was not with it. 
And she did not know. I remember she saw him because she came home early one day and she saw him dropping me off. And she was like, don't ever have that man in front of my apartment again. And I was like, what are you talking about? You know, I said, he's 18. And she looked at me and said, don't listen to me. (laughs) You know, so my mom was not with it. I was sneaking. You know what I mean? So, And and she was a great parent. My mom was very involved. I I, I wasn't missing out on love or anything like that because everybody wants to say, oh, the parents, it's the parents' fault. Everybody has done something as a teenager that their parents had no idea what they were doing. You know what I mean? So even with Aaliyah's parents coming out and saying that they could vouch for the fact that Aaliyah was never having sex with R. Kelly, there's no way as a parent you can vouch for what your child was doing at all times. It's just not possible. I wish it were. So, so we're not going to believe them, but we're going to believe some other no, little I'm girl. No, I'm not saying we can't. They don't have the information because they weren't there. <laughs> Guess who else had the information? You three. If they, but if the people that the information were, either. But if the people that were being abused were on the show saying I'm being abused, that's different than me saying I wasn't there, but I don't believe you. That's different. Well, they said they were there. If their their direct quote was, "We were with our daughter at every tour, every." No, I'm talking about our. No, Aaliyah's mom didn't say that. They she, did. That was their quote. They said they were with their daughter at all times, and they they y'all need to leave her leave her out of y'all's documentary. But with, were they were they there at the, when the wedding certificate was signed? I, and when she had a, a miscarriage, I'm just going off what they said. Yeah, I'm saying that doesn't make any sense because she married him, so obviously they were okay but with it. But of course, of course, their moms are going to try to speak. Yeah, highly and of their I, child. I don't want. Like, yeah, as a mother, you don't want to think about your daughter having sex on. Why a bus. do y'all give excuses on that side, but you're not willing to? You see what I'm saying? Y'all no, keep I'm making not giving all these excuse. excuses. I'm just saying it's what it is. I just want to be by fair. Play. That's what I just, it is. I just want to be what fair. Trying to do, I get it. I ain't mad at it. I, and I see what the other ones are trying to do. Everybody's piling on. I just want to be fair across the board. I want to know, though, with you or your situation, how accountable are you? Are you accountable at all for dating a guy that was 10 years older than you when you were 16? Or are you just completely innocent and had nothing to do with you? I, I will say this. I didn't think it was criminal. I didn't, I didn't realize that he was... I thought it was cool. So, because I was 16. Mm-hmm. I thought it was cool that he liked me, that he had a, he had a Camaro. You know, he, was, he, had, he, he, gave, he gave me a gold chain. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think that I was doing anything wrong. Got your McDonald's. Happy Meal? Yeah. Did you get a boy or girl toy? I'm done. <laughs> I mean, like, there, but we also have to sort of confront that we place different sort of pressures on boys versus girls, like, as they sort of develop. Like, there is sort of like, like you were talking about earlier, how we sort of say that, oh, I mean, you know, boys are less mature than um, girls and, you know, girls are more mature. But we also teach um, boys to like have a certain level of immaturity about the, like That's as true. they're growing up. Like you know, like um, even like you know, uh, I'm going to talk about my own experience with my sister or whatever. We're like close enough in age, but there are sort of like things that were permitted for me um, for me to do, like things that were pretty immature that Chanel probably couldn't get with at the same age because there's a like you know, girls have to work, be more conservative. They have to. Um, you know, they have to present themselves in a certain way where guys don't necessarily have to conform to that. We can be as immature as we want to until a certain point. Um, we can argue about when that point is, we can say, uh, but at the same time, we, I, could, I feel like we would agree that it's much earlier for uh, girls growing up. We expect them to be mature and more reserved earlier. So you feel like certain things you got that you were able to do in our household that your 100%. sister was not? If, if I broke a plate... In the household, it was, oh, boys just being rough housing. That's like an expectation of a boy growing up, right? Um, I don't think so. No, I'm just, I'm not saying with <laughs> everyone in the house. I'm saying like, like, I in, will, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will agree with you, but at the same time, I think the, the, I think it overcompensates when you become older because it's actually in, in a lot of people having this conversation, it actually hurt my feelings to hear that a lot of women say that black men don't protect them, that most men are predators. And this is just another example. And this right. is the reason mm-hmm. why, uh, why we won't even come forward. We won't even tell you because right. we know that you won't protect us. And I, at th- the but same- I think, I think, I mean, that's, that's horrible to say, but I mean, I could say, I got into it with a lady about that because I can say I did not, I felt unsafe after age 13 around black men. But you got to remember, at school, the football coaches were looking up our skirts. That doesn't feel safe. And what happens in our culture is, I know one of the girls on my squad was sleeping with one of the coaches. That's considered, she's fast. No one, I and I, that's how I used to think until I got older and realized, oh, that's backwards as hell. We thought, oh, she's fast. We didn't think he's a criminal. 
You know what I mean? Because but our she's culture, also fast. He's a criminal, and she's fast. Is she fast, or yes. is she just? Ca- I don't think that you have the ability to be to make rational decisions at that age. Let me ask you a question. I think it's fair to be both. I think it's I think both. It's Let me fair. ask you a question. You're 16. Same 16 you were then. Mm-hmm. You murder somebody. Are you going to jail? Are you going to prison? I am. You are. I we am. got. We have to hold 16 year olds accountable. I'm not saying that that dude wasn't a complete dirt bag. Mm-hmm. He was. He was a piece of shit for looking up your skirt, and or I guess it's different people, but the, yeah. the coaches were a piece of shit for looking up your skirt. But mm-hmm. if you murder somebody, you're gonna have to pay, face their consequences, whether you're 16 or right. you're 26. Right. Well, that's what we my, have, my mom told me. If you go someplace that you don't need to be, and something happens to them, that's your fault. You knew what you were doing at 16. You might not have known it was criminal, but you liked and the I necklace. Know, I did you not like the Camaro. Right. But but you know what? What I remember, and I ended up Bro. being the boyfriend. Broke up. Well, it wasn't. I guess he wasn't really my boyfriend because we didn't have sex. But I remember him trying to kiss me. And and I was so you know, I was gonna ask, was, afraid. You're not like, gonna ask that a body. Yeah, I, no, it, was, it, was not, it wasn't no. time yet. I was gonna ask later. No, it, it was. wasn't. I, we, and I was, I was <laughs> petrified. Right. You know what I mean? Because I didn't understand the gravity of it. Right. Just like I do, also think in 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 uh, to support what you just said. To your point, if a 16 year old murders someone, I don't think they understand the gravity of what they did. And I know okay. that's true because my my brother committed a crime. He he stole a car at like 15 or 16, and. I remember he got arrested and he went to jail and my mother was like on the phone with him and he was like, um, I got to get out because I got to go to school tomorrow. That shows he didn't understand. <laughs> right. You're not going to school. True, true, but come on, let's be real, right? I know the argument is that women at age 16 are malleable. They're very, it's yeah. easy to, to mold them. It is. Bruh, I'm, I'm 43. Women that are 40 are malleable and easy to trick. And dudes but do it I, to them all the time. even more so with before they're fully I, developed, though. Man, y'all, uh, no offense, but y'all, you, dudes tell y'all anything and y'all go for it. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, not you. Not okay, you. I, I don't. I'm not talking in a general lie. I'm talking, yeah. now, now I'm going yeah. Stone's way. I'm talking generally. <laughs> in, in Atlanta, in general, women are very easy to, quote unquote, prey on, but, no matter what age they are. But especially a celebrity. And, and that's where you have Especially a celebrity. That's true. With power and that money. That has a yeah. ton of reinforcements yeah. to say, mm-hmm. yeah. And you know what? It, it, uh, there, I think there are issues within the industry where everyone, especially males, right? The, mm-hmm. the male-dominated industry are in position and they're not working with, quote unquote, the young, hot rapper guy, mm-hmm. right? They're trying to find whatever little badass singing chick, mm-hmm. right? She might not have a lick of talent, but maybe I could hit. Right. That a lot I've of the industry kind of does I've that. I've seen it. And I've also seen, you know, there were numerous things mentioned on the R. Kelly documentary. It was mentioned that Jerry Lee Lewis married his cousin that was 13. He did. Elvis Presley was with Priscilla Presley when she was 15. Right. Um, and that's just, and, and, and then the urban community, is, it happens over and over Woody again. Woody Allen. Uh, uh, Woody Robert Allen, Polanski. and that's really mm-hmm. weird. But um, even um, uh, Nick Cannon asked Dame Dash about Foxy right. Brown being 17 years old when she and Jay-Z were together. Beyonce and Jay Z got together, and Beyonce and Jay Z acknowledged that he was looking at her and knew that she was gonna. He wanted to be with her before she was eighteen years old. So, I think that's something that in the culture of music. I think the documentary was about R. Kelly, but I think it made us look at the culture. Puffy's baby mama, Misa Hilton, was fifteen years old when she had his son. It continues going on and on to where it's we're tricky though. I, okay, and, and and by no means. By no means am I trying to offend honestly on this one because, oh because I know God. that I know that you assume I just like offending people. He Here does. comes. He does. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brace yourselves. Why did you? Okay. Here it is. There is an argument that. So Jay Z said whatever he said about before she was eighteen or whatever. That's kind of the words. He didn't say before she was eighteen. So I, that's allegedly. You said that. He said. When there's was, a song where he's talking about he they were friends first and he knew that they were going to be together okay. but they they've been together since she was like 18. Okay, well never so, mind. I thought he right. actually No, he, he didn't say that. that. Okay, was, never yeah. mind. I'm not going to fit nobody. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that we have a culture that Chickened out. I agree I agree with you that that says women need to be more mature that um that tells women when they're young that getting with someone older is a good thing because he can provide the things that men are looking for. And it also says to men, because we look at our culture and it suggests that youth and beauty are the things that are valued most in a woman. And it looks and money and power are the things that are valued most in a man. So a young, beautiful woman is a perfect match for an older, powerful man. So we've created that construct, right? And then when that happens, now we're shocked. Now I do think R. Kelly, because of his own issues, was an extreme example of that. 
but I don't think that I think if not for the pen <laughs> and the and the and the and the and the, and the beat, domestic violence, but even there were other issues of domestic violence, and people will turn a blind eye to it as well. You know, I think that he just had an issue because of his own mental situation that caused him to be more extreme than others. But I think men being with young women is something that has been going on and we turn a blind eye to it all the time. Yeah, I almost feel like, well, because there there are pre-crimes. Like looking at someone isn't a crime, mm-hmm. but the, the, the energy or the intent that is there when you stare mm-hmm. becomes... Like I say, it's a pre-crime, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It's not something that actually happened, but thing. But um, it, pre-crime, yeah, it's a pre-crime. We're it's, really it's a, pre, deep it's a here. pre-crime. I, I mean, I, the word I, voyeurism I, does exist. The the word what? Voyeurism. Yeah, vo- wait, wait, right. But right. I think that I think that what he's but saying is that the intent, and, the intent that's of, different. and I think that's what my friend was saying. He was like, I I'm not R. Kelly, but I can understand why he was attracted to some of those girls. I think a lot of men could share that sentiment, right? So I get what you're saying that there's a, a build up to it, and then some people are gonna are gonna abstain in public. Because even right, because for the the right woman, a young a young beautiful woman for the right man, he and he. God fearing and everything. Yeah, he, he's gonna fall. Yeah, and she can push herself on him. He like, hey, 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 now, I, hey, no, you need to get over there. I, mm-hmm. Hey, look, what happens on the day seventeen years, three hundred sixty four days? What's different between seventeen years, three hundred sixty four days, and seventeen years, three hundred sixty five days? We have to have, like what you, you mean? said, ten to twenty. You said we have to, we have to have <laughs> rules. You said the rules are right, so that's Easy. it's rules. It's right. rule. no, I do think that this, that brings up a good point because they often they kind of are arbitrary in that sense. But I feel like the that we have like sixteen and eighteen being these sort of huge cut-off time, cut times for women, like, oh, this is the time where it's moral for me to have um, sex with this woman. Right. I do think that creates an uh, interesting sort of problem for, like, women, particularly, like, and probably more so black women uh, in development because it creates this sort of biological clock on their existence. They don't get to be a child forever. They, like, they hit this point where, um, you know, they turn 16, 18, and guys feel as though, okay, now it's sort of, moral for me to sort of engage in some form of harassment, engage in some form of, like, mm-hmm. uh, get, and create this point. sort of unf- uh, uncomfortable atmosphere. Right. Which, and men don't necessarily have to, like, like no. deal with that. Let me like, ask you a question, Stone. So, um, what happened, okay, I'll ask anybody, it has to be just Stone, I'm not going to put him on the spot. Menopause is the end of what? Youth. Happiness, life, fertility. No, fertility, right? So you Sorry. can't have a baby anymore. I was anymore. speaking for my own personal. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the general age when women start their cycle? Uh, usually, like between, uh, we'll say twelve to fourteen. Okay, so twelve, fourteen to eighteen. What's going on in that time period? What is that period Puberty. for? But what is it for, though? Are, are you able to have a baby at fourteen? Yeah, you can have a baby as soon as you have a period. So biologically. <laughs> For lack of a better word, God has made it so that a, a girl, woman, whatever you call it, depending on what, if you're from Alabama, that's a woman. But in Georgia, in the, the <laughs> civilized part, that's still a girl. But between 12 and 14 and 18, there's a time period there where she can have a baby. Mm-hmm. So when I'm saying my grandmother got married when she was 13, she was fertile mm-hmm. at 13 and could be a mama. The woman of the house or the mom of the house or whatever it is. Yeah, because you're going to have 12 kids. You don't start when you're 30. <laughs> right, right. But the, the point I'm trying to make, though, is that if there ever were an argument, that's the argument. And I don't know where everybody else is talking about. This shit about I can look at a 15-year-old and see her and be like, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Because once I know a woman is 15, I'm not... Right. I'm not attracted, but that's but that's you, and there are a lot of men that don't feel like that. And I don't care what she does; she can do a split, she can do five splits, she can bust it in a handstand. Is that is that okay? It doesn't. I'm like, what is this little fucking girl doing? Stop! What, put your put yourself back. I was at, I was at a strip club with one of my friends, and a girl walked up that was 21, and he said, "I cannot look at her because I've known her since she was like 10." Right. right? And he was like, "It's uncomfortable. I don't see her as." Like, this is really weird. Like, she's there, you know, walking around. He's like, nope, don't buy, no, no, no. trying to redefine the image that I have of you. Yeah, and, and I don't, I, but my point was error. he saw her as a child. The thing is, a lot of men don't have that 
A lot of them don't. And I think that I think that if you look at the conversations that we're having on social media, a lot of men that don't think that way are not aware of that of how many men do. Right. Which is why women made that statement about not feeling safe. But I, I don't think anyone would blame him if she were 21 for not feeling like that. No, no. But I'm just saying that's a, very that's personal a normal thing. thing. That's a very but personal thing. there are a lot thing. of men that would not feel that way even if they did know the girl. I mean, Celine Dion married her manager that had been with her from the time she was 11. He married her at 18. Okay. So are we saying that he just all of a sudden was sexually attracted to her at 18? No. He was pre-criming. Mm-hmm. He was setting up. So you have to not meet the, the your soulmate. You have to make sure you don't cross paths with her, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Like that, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying it's not, reali- it's not realistic to assume that he wasn't having sexual thoughts about her before she ter- before she was of age. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think that there's there's a certain way that it has to be done if it is to be done. Like. People can say that Beyonce was young, but Jay-Z also got consent with her father. Yeah. Right? He got consent from her parents. He married her, and he he went through the full process. Well, he married her later. That. I mean, they were together for a long time before they Right, got right. But it was, as I understand, it was her that ultimately ultimately decided, yeah. okay, now I'm ready. Right. Now we can do yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, they're, that's, they're a great example, but I just think, I just think it's, very, it's very ambiguous, and... I think this started a good conversation, you know what I mean? Because I, th- I, I think that, that we were operating without the information because there were a lot of men that were like, whoa, like I didn't know that grown 45-year-old men were whistling at a 13-year-old going to school. Now, even if I was built like a woman, which I wasn't all the way, I'm still waiting for a school bus with friends that, you <laughs> right, know, are right. little. So there's right. a problem, you know what I mean? And, and you're, you're 15 in that uniform looking like Black China. How the yeah, that I mean, but still, but if I if the body looks like Black China, but she's drinking water at the water fountain with a high school cheerleading outfit on, here's okay, and this is this is gonna. I mean, we can end it here, but that's a whole. I know porn we're getting category. close. Here's my here's my here's my problem. Though. That's a good point. That is a porn category. What? There 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 are there is porn girl. geared towards men that have fantasies about being with mm-hmm. prepubescent girls because some women don't mature until later. So you could be. 18 years old and look like a yeah. 11 year old and there are porn categories for women that are underdeveloped for men to you know um, enjoy so that that's a perfect point like we don't we do know and that's not illegal do you, you know? think but if we can mute R. Kelly we can definitely turn that we off as well R. do you think that they should the late the age should be younger He's than not. 18 do you think it should I know I mean do you think it should be higher no I think 18 is 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 a uh, is a good age. I think that for me, if anyone is thinking of dating my daughter, oh my God. Uh, my daughter's grown. I don't give a damn, and I mean that. Like I don't give a damn. I would find kids you when you were like, oh, but you, I with uh-oh. the person, but with a person that was age appropriate. Oh, okay. I see. I see what you're saying. Okay, but is uh, <laughs> he wasn't me- he wasn't mentally manipulating me? How how, how different thing a 16 year old dick and a 22 year old dick is? Come on. No, no, okay. I don't. Pro- no, no, I'm, no, like, no, I'm no, talking no, no. about. I'm talking. You're yeah, t- thank you. He doesn't like what you're doing to his mom. I'm not but doing it to I'm you. Is, I'm saying how it's how... different. I'm saying no, no, no. I, okay, when I went to college, I went to college at 17. Right? Okay. There was a teacher, a teacher's assistant that was 31. Okay. That ca- that invited me to his room. Right. Now, I don't know if he knew I was 17 or not because right. most people in college are 18. I mean, still, he didn't ask. Did he? He didn't ask. Right. He did not ask. So I went to his house. I mean, I went to his apartment and I asked my girlfriend to come with me because we were scared. And I thought he was cute, but again, immature mind. He goes into his room, comes back. Well, he goes, puts on a video and goes to the bathroom. It's a porn. Wow. I get up and run. We get up and run. We were scared. So we, we look, pushing each other. Oh my God. And ran out of the room. My point is. What kind of porn? What genre? I don't even know. I just, I had never seen porn before and it scared and me. And you didn't death. keep looking for a second? No, we got, we got, I mean, I was, fi- I was physically I mean, afraid. He, he, he set it up. So he put it on and left the room. He put and, it on oh, and left the room. And then the, what happened? He had to walk to walk to what, what, what turn? I, we left. I mean, yeah, but I remember we were sweating and like, <gasps> like it, it's, I was literally afraid he was going right. to try to rape us or something. So right. we, we left. But my point is, that mentality is not consistent. But I never, but I, but even then, I didn't think that he was doing anything wrong. Right. I thought he was doing what most guys would do. And most guys would do that. Here's yeah. the thing. So, guys, 
Because I know it, it feels like y'all, it seems like the way y'all are looking at me that I think that it's okay what R. Kelly may that. have done. Yes. I don't think that it's okay that what R. Kelly may have done. But here's also what I don't think is okay. For R. Kelly to mess with a girl that young and her not have a fully developed mind and be able to make a good decision, I also feel like something that is, that is prevalent right now that people are really pushing for some of these same social justice warrior type people is a reassignment surgery for kids. I think all that shit needs to go. I agree. I don't want. I, I think that is. I think that is is, is is abuse because I don't feel like until there's proof that the front that a child's a, a person a human's brain is not developed until age what twenty four. The frontal lobe is not closed twenty five. So and and I'm not even saying twenty five, but for you to allow a child to go through gender reassignment surgery and take hormones. At that young age, because there are cases where people are now deciding they don't want to be like that, but it's they were like, it's too late. They blocked and, the hormones and, you, and, 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 and they never you've started. totally altered who they are. I think that is, I think that is grossly negligent. And I and I feel bad for parents because I think people get caught up in the trend and you're doing something that's gonna affect that person's health, their mental state. Everything is altered at that point. And I I, I don't I think it's it's horrible. I, I hate that we have those. We ha- that's legal, but uh but medical suicide is not. Like that's asinine to me. But wait, I- wait, wait, wait. I'll rewind. Uh there is okay. So like the problem with sort of that I have with sort of with with this conversation is that like uh, right now that kid, uh, kids who sort of go through gender reassignment like or trans kids in general have the highest rate of suicide out of anyone in the United States. Not true. That's Actually, true. That, that's not true. That is true. Thirty and below is the same as everybody else. Thirty and no, above saying, is where the the suicides happen. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm talking about trans. Well, trans people in general. Out of everyone, out of everyone, if you look at look at it, trans people have the highest rate of suicide, and that like does and it's consistent between like the teen years and the adult years. Okay. So like. Again, trans um, trans kids are su- committing suicide way more than like people who, like average kids. Yeah, so like, and the general like whenever they leave, whenever there's an explanation, it's because like it's pretty much like oh people don't accept me for who I am or whatever, right? So like as a parent, if you're trying to if like you're saying that they're like clout chasing, trend hopping or whatever. I think the parent side of this is I want to make my child as comfortable as possible because, like, re- the reality is, like, if your argument is that a child is not old enough to know, like, what gender they want to be, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that child is old enough to decide whether they want to die or not, and that's what they've been doing, right? So, like, where where do you draw your line there? That is so, again, so general. First of all, that's I— That's not—statistics ge- aren't general. I don't because, agree like, with you. Actually, actually, statistics school. are not what you said they are. That's actually a lie. Google them right 30 now. Plus you have a Mac right 30 in plus. 30 plus. You do the homework. I've already done it. 30-year-old <laughs> and below— the same suicide rates for all kids, whether they're trans, whatever. That's a, You have misquoted that stat. Actually, 30 and above is where people who have the problem with all the years of whatever. 30 and below I, now. I, he's going to pull that up because I, I, I have heard different. I have heard differently yeah. because but, there's been studies on that and they've here, talked about it. I have a friend that has a trans child. Right. And she did say that those kids have... I mean, it makes... it. it 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 makes perfect sense. There are sense kids who have, have mental issues and have depression issues. That we're happens. talking about trans regular kids have mental yeah. issues and depression issues. But we're talking but what about I'm saying though is suicide rates. If it's if it's wrong to assume that a, a 15 year old or a 14 year old or a kid can't determine whether or not they need they should be having sex. I'm gonna give you a second. I'm gonna give you a second. If they should if they cannot if they're not mature enough to know whether having sex with a 26 year old mm-hmm. at 16 is okay, they're also not. I agree with they you. They should I not have the opportunity to decide what sex think, they but are. But I do understand what he's saying that if they're having they're having trouble. I don't know if that's. I don't believe that's the answer. I don't know what the answer is. I don't have the answers, but I do. I do don't. I do not think that they should be able to do gender reassignment under age 18. But I do acknowledge that there is more depression and 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 suicide in children that are struggling with sexual and gender identity. In where did they, where to did they get else. this this struggle? Hold on, let, let him. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna skip to the just give me the source for, first. Yeah, uh, this is in the uh, Indian Journal of Psycho- Psychological Medicine, and it's co-signed by uh, two Harvard graduates, and then. Three doctors. Fair enough. All right. So it says the suicide rate and suicidal tendencies among transgender persons are considerably high compared to the general population, nearly doubling them. The suicide attempt rate among transgender persons ranges from 32% to 50% across the countries. But that wasn't about teens, though. That was just transgender, period, right? Or did you say teens? This is teens. You said teens? teens? I didn't hear you say teens. My bad. Um, 32 to... uh, Wait, hold on. 
Yeah, it's um, 31% generally, and it jumps to 50 when you like specifically for teens. Okay, so it's 50% when, for, you, when, when you're in teenage, teenage years. Okay. That's I, ridiculous. I, I'll have to do some more research. I, I could have sworn that I read the opposite of that. But, I mean, if you got a Indiana, you said Indiana. No, no, no. This was, uh, this was Indian um, Psychological Research Department. Indian? Like red dot or feather? Uh, no, oh no. No, 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 <laughs> no. No. Uh-huh. They, they don't know. <laughs> their their school their grades are awful. Indians Indians have the worst like and, you know, <laughs> we have ushered this year in with the same they don't know. So you have attacked African Like, share, and subscribe. Do you know what the schools are like on reservations right now? No. <laughs> Come on, man. We're, we're, y'all are really gonna. Okay. Hey, yeah. Like, share. Those are Native Americans. <laughs> and subscribe. We're back. We're back. Happy New Year. Uh. Music Club Life.